Hello, my name is Dr. Lo Jiaxuan. I'm an infectious disease physician. I'm with the infectious disease specialist group. If you're talking about COVID-19 variant, it's defined as a virus that has significantly deviated from its previous strain with an increased number of mutations. And the mutations of greatest concern are the mutations on its spike protein. It's important because the spike protein is its mechanism of infection. The rate of variance increasing and showing up is proportional to the rate of transmission and the rate of the total burden of COVID in the world. When there's a high virus load on the planet, then the rate of mutation is increased. When the mutation rate is higher, then the rate of variance arising is higher. So if the, the planet develops herd immunity through vaccination or in certain circumstances, there may be even herd immunity developed through natural infections, then the number of infections goes down, then the variant rate will also go down. It's no surprise that actually we have variants from all over the world. We have the B1.351, we have 117. Now the predominant strain seems to be B1617. So there is the thinking that it is more transmissible and actually the WHO has increased its ranking from a variant of interest to a variant of concern. Uh, why is it more transmissible? It's, it's uh, still a matter of great debate. Lah. Maybe it can stay infectious longer, maybe it can be transmissible to, at greater distances. Nobody really knows yet. For sure. You know, around B1617 is already the predominant strain here. It's still pending a lot of sequencing work. As of now, as you understand, every time we have a positive case, there will be more sequencing work, and the sequencing work takes time. These numbers have not been widely published. So, in small series, B117 for the Moderna, for the mRNA vaccine, can reach about 90% protection. B1351 reach somewhere about 60 to 70% protection. B1617, if I'm not wrong, it shows 80-90% protective efficacy. So it is still very effective. When they say some of these numbers, they are based on people developing neutralizing antibodies. We still don't have the information on this variant about decreasing severity. But most likely, most likely it will decrease severity. So even for a vaccine efficacy of 60 to 70, it will most likely be able to decrease severity even if you catch it. Our Pfizer and Moderna vaccine still works against these variants. The variant that is least susceptible, I won't say resistant to the vaccine, is actually the B1351. So this is known, it's slightly less efficacious, but it's still better than no vaccine. <laughs> so, so the conclusion is everybody should get vaccinated as soon as possible and as soon as they're offered. This is of utmost importance. Uh. There are actually a whole host of other virus that causes very mild infection, which we have come to live with throughout human history. It is really possible that COVID-19 will also develop in that direction. It might become something so mild that it will become another virus we have to live with.